Morning, James. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, quite well. Just tell the audience um, where you're from, what you're doing. Yeah. Sure. So my name is James. I am from uh, the USA, from the state of Texas. And uh, I'm on a backpacking trip uh, around the world, uh, beginning uh, with a four month trip in Africa. Which countries did you start with? So I started in uh, Egypt and I'm working my way down to South Africa. I've been to uh, nine countries and here in Botswana, this is my 10th country. 10th country. Yeah. And the, the, the border crossings and every way that you went, did you experience any problems or? Yes, uh, I would say uh, the border has been uh, my most uh, challenging uh, problems. Uh, I brought a drone along with me, so I've had uh, some issues with that, but also um, things that you read on the internet about uh, what you might need to cross the border when you get to the border, sometimes that's not the case. So you have to work with the officials and, and just be patient with the process. Yes, um, if, I, I believe if you treat them right, they will treat you right. Yes, uh, you have to be friendly and joke with them and uh, you know, basically stand your ground also. Stand your ground, but also know that, uh, you know, they're the ones in, in control, control and they're the ones in charge. Now tell me a little bit something. Did, did you keep your drone or did you take it? Did they take it? Or? And they took it in Egypt from me. I had to pay a fine and I had to fly out of the country. I was able to get it back. I had some issues as well. Uh, in uh, Uganda with the drone, but I still have it with me. I'm just being more, more clever and uh, more cautious with it. Ah, that's strange that they didn't want the drone inside. Maybe security reasons or something like that. Exactly, and many countries require special permits and you yeah. have to go to the aviation authority and this type yeah. of thing, so. Are they, um, even in South Africa, they're getting more strict with the drone. Um, you're not allowed to fly it in an urban urban sector, you must go out to... They, they have places now, believe it or not, where you can fly drones. Yes, uh, what, what I've noticed is many national parks do not allow you to fly drones. Um, I stay away from urban areas and uh, just try to be discreet in yes. general. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Um, and from Africa you're going to? Uh, I will go to Southeast Asia, so I will continue my trip there. For three months I'll be in Southeast Asia. Um, I will finish in uh, Cape Town by Christmas and then continue the, continue. Continue the trip. And your occupation before that, what did you do? Yes, so I'm a primary uh, art teacher or a school teacher for the primary school. Um, but uh, things have been challenging lately, so I decided to take a year off and uh, live my dreams. No, that's good. Nice meeting you. Very nice meeting you. Uh, it's been wonderful spending uh, the last 24 hours with you all, my yeah. fellow campers. <laughs> Likewise. And we had some rain last night, no? Uh, yes, we did. I was uh, actually a bit worried that I was going to uh, be floating in my tent by the end of the night, but uh, I managed to stay dry and uh, actually slept quite well. No, lack that. To come back to you, James, what did you learn on your trip through Africa and that? Yes, yeah, so, um, you know, I've learned to be very resourceful since I'm uh, traveling with such a small budget. Um, I don't have the luxury of uh, eating out or sleeping, you know, wherever I want. Um, and then with public transportation as well. Um, you learn to be resource resourceful, you learn to be patient. And uh, since I'm uh, traveling by myself, I've learned um, just how capable I am and, you know, uh, that's uh, such a great lesson in life to learn, you know, when you're faced with challenges and you're alone, you have to uh, figure out a way to solve them. And uh, many times you uh, try one thing and it doesn't work and you try something else and it doesn't work. So you find a way and in that you uh, gain a lot of self-confidence and you trust yourself a lot more. And, and just, uh, I've learned that uh, you know, I'm capable of a lot more than I thought before I began this trip. Yeah, um, that's what I also noticed um, when we started our trip. We're also capable of many things. And a question what I want to ask you, let's say a few weeks or two weeks in your, in your, in your journey, that your mind start playing, said, are oh, you doing wrong, it's hard. 
even in the very beginning, you know, when you're thinking about this uh, around the world trip for a year and you're a weekend, you're like, really, can I do this? Or when you face the first set of challenges, you're like, am I prepared to do this? Or am I strong enough? Am I resilient enough? And then you realize that it's not the end of the world, you know? You have a good day and you have a, a bad day, but... And you press forward. You press forward and you're grateful for it. It really makes you appreciate the smaller things in, in life. And uh, I've come to enjoy a, a, a fresh shower and a clean change of clothes and a good meal and what else do you need, really? Yeah, definitely. And, and your folks and your family, how do they feel about you away for so long? Um, I think that they were um, fearful. You know, uh, in the U.S. there's this uh, feeling of Africa being such a dangerous place and, and this type of thing. Um, but they supported me wanting to live my dreams and uh, I've, um, I, I'm challenged also with being an ambassador um, to those back home to teach them that Africa is not what they hear about or read on the news and this type of thing, that it's full of warm, generous and, and loving people and that's the message that I want to bring back home. Yeah, but you're going to do it because this is going to be an all the media platforms that you can think of. I, I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> I hope that, that your message and your mission gets out and, and I'm able to, to be a part of that. No, definitely, definitely. Um, anything else you want to add for, your, um, for people across board? Yes, um, you know, believe in yourself. Uh, you know, if there's a dream that you want to fulfill, uh, think about uh, ways that you can make that happen rather than um, what's, what's holding you back. You know? You'll uh, always be grateful for trying and you'll always uh, regret not having made that step. So, so go for it. Yes, no, definitely. We agree about that. Yes. Um, but thank you for your time. Thank you so much.